Sunset, your kingdom increase. Shelter for fragile lives, cures for their ills. Work for the craftsmen, trade for their skill. Land for the dispossessed, rights for the weak. Voices to plead the cause of those who can't speak. God of the poor, friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, a tears fall like rain. Come change our love from a spark. To a flame, refuge from cruel wars, havens from fear, cities for sanctuary, freedoms to share. Peace to the killing fields, scorched earth to green. Christ for the bitterness. His cross for the pain, God of the poor, friend of the weak, give us compassion. We pray, melt our cold hearts. The tears fall like rain. Come, change our love from a spark to a flame. Earth, oceans and streams, plundered and poisoned, a future and dreams. Lord, in our madness, carelessness, greed, make us content with the things that we need. God of the poor, friend of the weak. Us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, the tears fall like rain. Come, change our love from a spark to a flame. 
on this flame until your justice burns brightly again. Until the nations learn of your ways, seek your salvation and bring you their praise. God of the poor and of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, a cheerful life way. Come change our love from a spark to a flame. Change our love from a storm to a flame. The heavens be glad and let earth rejoice. In the name of God who created the earth, in the name of Jesus Christ, who redeemed the earth, and in the name of Spirit, who renewed the earth. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Praise the Lord. Praise Him, you servants of the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed His name, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open and all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kosi ibaneneba. Christu ibaneneba. Lord, have mercy. Merciful and sustaining God, we have sinned against you. We confess our lack of gratitude for the beauty and the bounty of your creation. Teach us to see that your earth sustains us and all that lives. We confess that we have misused earth. Uh, grant us amendment of life. We confess that we have been greedy and selfish. Strengthen us in self-control. We confess that we have taken the abundance of your world for granted. Make us urgent now for, the, for its protection. Forgive and renew us now through our Savior, Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with whom you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon your sins and set you free from them. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's collect. Good Shepherd, you are the gate that secures the sheepfold. Grant that all who hear your voice may know you who calls us each by name and follow you and follow your, your, lead, your lead. For you live and reign in the unity of the Blessed Trinity, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is from Acts chapter 2, beginning from verse 42. Sponder said, So Allah stole Allah in my genius and the apostle, the Sasho was a speedy, so Allah was a Shuana, Samashumi, Amani, Nambi, Iban Lala said to Rosalem. Bag in the Selangalo, Esifundi Swain, Sabapostol, Nasegushan Anini, 
nasekuhlepheleni isinkwa nasemkhulekweni kepha kwaba ilo nalo umuntu wehlelwa ngokwesaba kwenziwa ngabapostoli zimangaliso nezibonakaliso eziningi bonke abakholwayo baba ndawonye bahlanganyela izinto zonke bathengisa ngemfuyo nangempahla babela bonke ngayo njengokuswela kwabo imihla ngemihla baqinisela ngenhliziyo ngenhliziyo yethempelini bahlephula isinkwa ekhaya badla ukudla kwabo ngentokozo nangokuhlophe benhliziyo bamdumisa unkulunkulu bethandeka kubantu bonke inkosi yanezela ebandleni imihla ngemihla abasindisiweyo izwani izwi lenkosi Pesalo me etwa mo pesalo mpini 3, page 630, we start reading from verse 1 up to 6. Psalm 23, page 630, we start reading from verse 1 up to 6. Yona harifitheti ebale khajana. Morena ke modisa wami, khankitla ke tlhoka sebe. Umputisa mo mafulong a matalana, umkhogela kwa metseng a tapoloso. Ula polusa moya wami, unza mesa modi tzile nza tsia mo kantla ya lina la khafu. Lefa ke tzamaya momo khoro khoro mwa muruti uwa lesu, khangita ke boifa busu ila bope. Khone una lina, tzama waya khako elisi koko talo sa khako edia nkukho moza. Uba kanya bu jelo fa pele khami, kholeba na aleba babami, unko tza khako kalu kwani, Senuelo sami sitezi siya tsuluha. Ruri mule moli bu itwari lo di kansala morahu. Kama la zi oke abu silo juami. Uta nna mongu nya morena kuya busa kukhin. Kala lo hurara lo humura lo humoyo bitepo. Jaka nile moti mulu hongli jana meta na kameta. Amen.
Listen to the good news proclaimed the gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, commencing from verse 1. I'll read in Chivenda. Uno ipani ha, moto ane asijene chitumba ni cha ungo nga mnango, cha we haba upupera nga umwe, ono undi fobu, dilevemu, ane ajena nga mnango, di enu mlisa wa ungo, ono yondu dine muinda mnango amuvurela. Morisa abizangu zawe nga mazina, zone za mupa, abanazo. Musi ono visa ngu zawe zote, uzi ranga panda, zone za mutevera nga oru zidewe ifilawe. Mungu mutu azinga uiza mutevera, zutoto shava nga uri, azidivi ifilawe. Yeso achivavuza chifanyiso icho, bone abongo tarukanya zune aamba. Yeso adoba ari. Zuna ipani ha, munango wa chitumba cha ngundi nne, wote, wote vende bada, ndi satuda, ndi mavemu, na mafugu. Izo nguzanga, zisikono uba techeresa. Munango ndi nne, ajina onga nne, udo chizwa, udo jena achiva, awa na mafuro. Chafovu, ndu ujenera, utwa, na ubura, na uchinye kanya, pezi. Ne chenda dera chone ndu uri batu batu babe na buchiro babudaro. This is the gospel of Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The imagery of sheep and shepherds is not an unusual one in the Bible and in many Bible stories. And Jesus picks it up once more in this story to identify himself as the good shepherd. He makes a comparison between a good shepherd and a thief. From this, one gets a picture of the relationship between the shepherd and his flock. The flock does not only identify its shepherd by his smell or by his outfit or by the way he looks, but by his voice. And not only does the sheep know the shepherd's voice, but they feel secure, they feel led, so much so that the shepherd does not walk behind the sheep or the flock to direct it. But he walks ahead and the flock listens to the um, shepherd for direction and follow where the shepherd is leading. The flock is confident in the guidance of the shepherd, but not so a strange voice. It was important for Christ to use this imagery in Judea. Judea is said to have been an arid place of the time. There wasn't much grass for sheep to graze. So this meant that the job of a shepherd was hard. He had to walk long distances to find adequate pasture for his sheep. But further to that, the sheep had to be obedient to the shepherd. The sheep had to follow the shepherd's voice in order to, to survive. In a sense, you and I also are the sheep and Christ is our good shepherd. He is the shepherd who will risk his life to save his flock. He is the good shepherd that will leave 99 sheep to go and seek one that has wandered off. He is the good shepherd that calls to us at all times and always. He calls us into the safety of his embrace. He calls us out of the way of danger. Like the Judean shepherd who had the additional task of protecting the flock. Jesus calls us because First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 teaches us that your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Christ, our good shepherd, calls us to, to himself. Christ, our good shepherd, continues to call to us. How are we then to respond? I have heard many people say that the call of Jesus is not easy to respond to and to follow. Yes, 
indeed, it might come with certain challenges. Yes, indeed, there may be bumps and humps along the way when you follow the call of Christ. But if we focus on the voice, Christ will lead. If we focus on the voice of Christ, if we sing the words of that chorus, where he leads me, I will follow. We will be able to recite the words of David the psalmist in Psalm 23 verse 4 when he says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you, Christ, are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In responding to Christ's call, we are to humble ourselves so that we can lift up. He can lift us up at the right time. In responding to Christ, our response should lead us to serving Him through serving other people. We can boldly give ourselves to His service because of His promise. The promise that He closes the portion that we read with when He says, I have come that they may have life and have it in full. So, how can we serve Christ during this time where we are under lockdown? How can we respond to the call of Christ at this difficult time? I want to suggest that perhaps Christ wants us to remain at home, but also to remain in Him. This is the time for us to allow creation to repair itself of the damage that you and I have caused. During this time, we are to open ourselves to Christ in order for Him to work in us. Christ, our Good Shepherd, calls us to look within ourselves and find the power of the Holy Spirit that we have rendered dormant in our lives. Christ calls on us to look within ourselves to find the strength that He gives unto us. Christ calls unto us to be awakened to His presence in our lives. He calls to us to be awakened of his love for us so that when the time comes for us to be able to walk around, we may be filled with his love for ourselves and for others. When the time comes to meet others, we may be able to radiate his love onto others. We are not to be filled with fear during this time. We are not to tremble and be thrown into disarray, but we are to live in the hope of the voice of the Good Shepherd. The voice that assures us that He is Christ, who was and is and is to come. The voice that calls and that reminds us that even though weeping may endure the night, but the joy of the Lord cometh in the morning. We are to, we are to listen to that voice, the voice of the Good Shepherd. We are to spread a voice and a, and a word of hope in hopeless situations. As children of Christ, as the sheep and the flock of Christ, you and I cannot be thrown into the same disarray as the rest of the world. And so, dear friends, may Christ continue to guide and strengthen us. May Christ continue to speak to us through different mediums. May Christ and may the love and life of Christ abide with us and shine through us as we prepare ourselves to enjoy the love, the protection, and the hope that comes with being called the flock of Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, you are my friend and savior. You know me through and through, and you are with me in every part of my life. In my sadness, anger, and fear, and in my gratefulness and joy. Gracious Jesus, on the day of your resurrection, you came to your frightened disciples and breathed the Holy Spirit into them. Breathe into me as you breathed into them the same creative wind and energy that moved across the face of the deep at the very beginning of creation. As I breathe in, I breathe in your courage and strength. As I breathe out, I breathe out your loving kindness and compassion. Help me to remember that you are with me always and that every day you invite me to bear witness to your healing love. 
Thank you for the people you have given me to love and for the task you have given me to do. Give me the God's audacity and resolve to stand up in the midst of a great catastrophe and to do what is mine to do. Speak in my heart and grant me the peace that passes understanding so that I may know in my deepest core that, I, that whether I live or die, I am yours and you will never leave me. Amen. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the infinite peace to you. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Spiritual communion is part of our Anglican tradition, which is used by one unable to receive the sacrament physically. Our prayer book affirms that we can be certain that Christ comes to us in this way as surely as he does in the sacrament of bread and wine. This morning, let us go to the village of Emmaus. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going further, but they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Prepare your heart now to receive the presence of Christ in spiritual communion. Breathe deeply and sense the presence of God with you. Be still and know that I am God. And so let us receive our spiritual communion in assurance that Christ comes to us as surely as he does in the bread and the wine. Jesus, may all that is you flow into me. May your body and blood be my food and drink. May your passion and death be my strength and life. Jesus, with you by my side, enough has been given. May the shelter I seek be the shadow of your cross. Let me not run from the love which you offer, 
but hold me safe from the forces of evil. On each of my dyings shed your light and your love. Keep calling to me until that day comes, when with your saints I may praise you for ever and ever. Please repeat after me. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, refresh me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. I would like to thank all essential workers who are helping us now. People who work at the shops where we buy food. People who work at petrol stations, doctors, nurses, soldiers and police. I would like to thank you for working hard for our country. Thank you. We love you. Take care of yourselves. Creator God, teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with each and every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us as we pray in our struggle for justice and equality, love and peace. Amen.